Hello guys, and welcome to episode 37 of my Total War Warhammer 3 campaign, playing as Scarbrand, leading the Exiles of Khorne to take Urson's head. Today we're just going to be continuing our turn after moving Scarbrand towards the Lizardman's home. Hopefully we'll be able to wipe them out in good time. It's going to take me a little while to get across the water here. But next we need to move Warfiend. He's going to be heading over past a Vizier. I might actually take the opportunity to kill Vizier, so let's go ahead and do that before he declares war on us. That'd be kind of annoying if he did, so we'll just wipe him out. Oh, please tell me I'm in range. Okay, good. Uh, it is going to be a close victory. We'll have plenty of time to replenish, so I might just order resolve it. It's just a bunch of soul grinders. It'd be boring. I guess there was a great unclean one there, but other than that, nothing interesting. Especially since we have to now deal with like the Bellacore full stacks of soul grinders. <laughs> Those are a little bit worse to deal with. So that's described as a fate dead. Good stuff. My boy earned his horse. And we're gonna carry on. So I want to get this like guy leveled up so that we can change him into a big boy. Uh, do I need that? I do have some exalted blood letters, so we'll do skull takers, and we'll do the minotaur bloodthirster. Cool. That's good. So yeah, we'll eventually want him to become an exalted bloodthirster like Cran over here. That's what Warfiend's heading towards. But meanwhile, this guy's going like so. And we'll grab Kill. Great. I'm the cultist. Increased mobility. Brutal charge. Hard hit. Our melee attack is so high on that army. Over to the Doom Harvesters. Uh, these boys are all going to be heading towards Kadak Vlag. Or Kadak of Vlag. Unless I want to go down to Seep Gore. Seep Gore does have walls though. Pretty big garrison actually. How's the garrison at Kadak Vlag? Also pretty big. I'd have the blood letters. I don't even know if this is good enough to take that. Well, we'll head that direction anyway. Maybe I can just siege them. That might work. Actually, what we can do is I think if we move into the enemy territory and we use this bad boy, it destroys the settlement. I'm pretty sure the local settlement raised upon completion. So we just kind of stand there and we chill and then Karak Vlag just goes bye bye. Which seems pretty broken. <laughs> so I probably don't want to be standing in their lands. I think they have the Invocation of like Urson going or something, which is causing me attrition. So okay for this army because they're destroying the settlement, but otherwise no point. Right, let's go over to the Doom Harvesters. Right, these lot. Do they have enough men left <laughs> to take a settlement? So Shambletown has a pretty meagre garrison, but we'd have to get past this one. We have to have these guys go first. And just move up all of these. Can they not get closer? <laughs> hug boys. Hug, hug more. <laughs> I guess technically I could move this army back, move that one forwards, and then attack with this one. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's jump on in. 
And we won't definitely want to play this out because we need to use our army abilities in order to win this battle, really. Now, I am currently playing on the patch where I think ranged units are broken. So ranged units can basically fire within other ranged units. So when they're blobbed up, they can all fire like, freely, which could be pretty bad against like Cinch AI. I can imagine that would be really annoying. Thankfully, I've already done the Cinch uh, Soul Battle, so we're all good in that regard. Let's just move back, start the battle. We'll chill out. Just gonna wait for my summon from beyond. We can drop that onto the pink horrors. <laughs> what is this ability? <laughs> oh damn. We did a little bit of damage. Actually, we did quite a lot of damage. Wow. Yeah, that unit got absolutely chunked. Well, that's fine. We'll do the same to the next one, then. I don't know if it was worth waiting for these units. <laughs> they are so depleted. I mean, an extra couple of chariots isn't too bad. And um, we do have a unit of these boys, and one of these leaders is actually healthy. But the rest of them should probably just stay out of it. And meanwhile, we'll drop another one of these over here. Should probably drop it behind them, technically. But let's just move these forwards. Again, they <laughs> used that ability. I think they're killing their own guys with the flamers. Kind of funny. Take sweet time for my bloodletters to get here. I don't even know if I need to commit the bloodletters to be honest. It'd probably be better just to commit the blood crushers and the flesh hounds. I might do that instead. Good. Alright, let's uh, drop the something from beyond in here onto the pink horrors. My bloodthirster will take out the flamers for us. Very good. We are doing a ton of damage to these units. It'll all be over soon. He's a goner. Alright, there we go. That's where we play it out because that was clean. Very clean indeed. Not getting the blood letters involved is actually the smart play there because we're going to need them for the battle. Next, the next battle against the settlement. I hope I have a unit that's in range to actually attack it though. Because I don't think this army will be. Unless by killing this army we do have enough. Because they're no longer blocking us. It looked like before the battle that we didn't. Because I had to move back on myself in order to get into the right position. Alright. So we'll just take the skulls from that. That's actually quite a lot of skulls. Are we in range? 
I think we're in range to reinforce, so just need something that can actually attack. I think this one can, so we'll just march up. Use this one to initiate. And yeah, I reckon we can do this. Alright, let's jump on in. So I'll probably end up sacrificing quite a few units in this battle. Uh, like these bloodthirsters, for example, we can use them to engage their leaders. The, but the leader, if it like turns around and slaps the one with low health, then they're just going to die. Sometimes I wish these big units, like the bloodthirsters, had regeneration. That'd be kind of cool. I guess they might be a bit too strong if they had that, though. <laughs> Or at least like I maybe be like a weaker form of it. So if you don't take much damage, you kind of end the battle with a little bit more health than you started. Don't know if that would really suit the theme of corn. I don't know. All right, we're gonna start over here with the forces. We're not getting shot by towers the whole time. Oops, I left one of these boys over here. They're actually deployed on this side because of this bloodthirster, so we can just rush in on the other side when we're ready. I nearly am. How, where are their ranged units, I wonder? Where would I keep them if I were them? Noblar's there. I mean, going on the Noblar is actually not a terrible idea because we'll definitely do a lot of damage to the Noblar's. Right, there's another one in front of them that was just shown. Alright, let's go. Let's get into the settlement. And the Noblar unit took quite a bit of damage. It's funny because this ability is kind of just like a spell. Yes, I go. Mainly because it, it just does a chunk of damage with depending on where you put it. And then eventually they all just disappear anyway, so it's like having like Gehenna's or something. Gehenna's Golden Hounds. Let's not have them go that way. Let's have them actually move around this way. Get away from them. What are you doing? <laughs> Stupid dogs. One Duggos, get out of there. Or die. One of the two. Poor little Duggos cornered. Making like a whining noise. Pretty sad. Alright, let's kill those Ogre Balls. And I'm going to have a lot of these. Start moving up here. All of the big units, though, I can just demolish these. Well, oh, if that hits my bloodthirster, it just dies. Okay, it didn't. Not 
there goes one of my units. Should have another one coming in shortly. Unless I already have all of my units on the field. I think I already have them all on the field. I'm just going to put a bunch of blood letters in there. Oh, they spawned behind. Oh, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I think the towers are focusing my blood thirsters. So I'm gonna take it out. And this unit needs to come with these. So this is what I wanted to do before, was have the Flesh Hounds come around and just go and capture the main. Just basically delete the towers while I'm engaged. Good. I should be able to capture that and delete the towers there as well. When my lords died. I think he was one of the ones with like a weak army there, so it doesn't matter that much. Good, that's one tower down. We also pretty much took out their leader there. I think we did take out their leader. I want to take out this fire belly. Let's go for him. This portal should hit the mark nicely. Very good. That's victory. Job done. Very good indeed. So we lost a couple of those like low health bloodthirsters, but it was to be expected. I think this unit is the one that the leader died in, which is again fine. Probably going to use this settlement to spawn another army anyway, so we can continue to push. And then we can always like recolonize this because we should get quite a lot of skulls. As if it's like a main settlement. All right, 8,400 total favor. Actually, we only got 161 skulls. Well, for the Blood God, of course. And then we already have Fallen City, so yeah, that doesn't matter. The next one would be Mount Thug. I'm not sure. Let's see. Maybe it'll be okay. 
Just kind of considering whether or not to actually attack them or not. We have quite a lot going on there. A lot of armies. Right, over to Akhtal. He's having a good look around. And the other Urkthal. We must go forth. Let's bring him up. It's totally fine. It's going to be a pure victory. I'm just going to resolve that. Get rid of that army. Take the money. Thank you very much. That will help me finish my wall there, which will be nice. A little bit of an upgrade for that unit. Uh, the Foundry of Bones... I will upgrade that to have walls. We have 35,000 cash. That's actually quite a lot. Uh, I mean, global recruitment capacity is nice if we upgrade that to the foundry. But let's go lowest to highest on the list again so that we can work out what's going on. The planes are still under siege. What do I even have in there? <laughs> okay. Howling Wastes, we definitely want to upgrade that. When pass, we we're gonna put in this building. I mean, this is nice though for the five scores per turn. But the attrition thing is very nice as well. Like I'm gonna do the attrition one here. Start putting attrition on those pesky dwarves. Just getting these maxed out to level 3 so we can get the walls going. Uh, so at Kadatha, do I want to upgrade that one? Don't think so. Yeah, I guess we could. Let's just do it. We have like a bunch of extra cash still, so yeah, that's fine. All right, we'll skip that. And I think we end the turn. Yeah, we'll just end the turn there. And we'll just leave it sped up. I mean, the only ones that are going to be annoying is actually the rogue army, so I think we just wait until we get the rogue armies doing things. Speaking of rogue armies, Doom breeds followers. Don't know where they came from. Ooh, interesting battle. Would we be able to win this? I mean, I kind of want to play it out just because there is a chance with towers. And if I could just destroy this army, then we can actually build that Bloodwind Keep next turn. And eventually we'll have walls, and then I won't have to worry about this anymore. <laughs> it's good. The, the biggest thing is getting the building in that's going to stop portals spawning because if more nasty armies are going to be popping out of them, it's going to be kind of annoying. Although I'm a little bit worried that like the final battle is going to be like against Bellacor and it's going to require me to have a portal. So then not having portals in my lands is going to make it kind of awkward to get to one. Nice settlement though. That's a really good settlement. I think I should probably just spread out. And hold on to each point. Let me just check which one's a melee. So that's the soul grinder. 
I mean, those are a little bit of ranged forces, so I don't think we put anything there. On this side, you got corn, corn, corn. The horrors, corn. No go. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll just pop most of the stuff here, I think. Or maybe we just stay in the middle. It's quite a lot of blockers, so yeah. The nice thing about these Chaos Warhounds is they do technically have missile resistance. So they will survive a little bit better against the range attacks that the Soul Grinders have. Right, anyway, we're going to save for some towers. So, just start the battle. Oh, I meant to put these there, didn't I? That's fine. Yeah, we're going to build this tower first. So this is the one I'm actually going to try and defend. And uh, we're going to go something like this. I'm going to drop uh, these onto the pink horrors. Gonna move these out of the way. Chaos Warriors! Exiles Chaos! Keep attacking the pink horrors there, please. Uh, they did actually run down my Chaos Warhound, that's annoying. One thing I can actually do is we can use these Chaos Furies to kill the Chaos Warhounds and the Hell Striders. Although I say that, we should probably wait until we have another one of these available. I should have gone for this one actually, the pink horrors. I can actually go for the soul grinder there, but it'll be a bit crazy. Alright. Uh, let's just kill the lord. Just thinking maybe the killing the lord would uh, kill the army. Kind of like my spare armies. I can't just stand there and take this. Let's just charge down. They are demolishing my units. is really sad. So I might actually be able to get the better of the Nurgle boy here. Because we're attacking him from like all sides. Get it surrounded. Do it in. Is it like regening? Yeah, oh, well, GG. <laughs> My just got sniped and then it was over. This is gone. <laughs> 
Okay, that's it wasn't terrible. <laughs> I killed a couple of units at least. Like it's just gonna be coming back again, so it really doesn't matter that much. Like we had this drawn to destruction like three turns in a row. It might just get drawn to destruction again. This time we actually killed the leader. Plus the couple units. Maybe it will destroy the army. I don't know. We'll see. Be good to know. No, they didn't destroy them. Uh, challenge to impacts. Hello again. So I actually killed a couple units. Okay. I'll take it. And that's it. Yay! Okay. On to our turn. Alright, they raised that again. It's a Zar was sacked. It wasn't even taken. What are they doing? I'm gonna do a Kriya Giza. Plane of Jar. Yeah, that's actually gonna rebel, even, so there's gonna be a rebellion there. Uh, Grimtop got drawn to destruction. And so did Amble Peak. And the Fortress of Ice, so we got that back now. <laughs> Again. And Kadak Vrag, which is what's completed this settlement. <laughs> there's an army right next to it already, so <laughs> it's kind of silly. Okay, let's get over the scar brand. Like, I don't know where to go here. I'm gonna go slowly. Okay, it looks like it's here. Is it on this island? Maybe not. I have no idea. Are we taking attrition or do we just have a damaged army? I think we just had a damaged army. Alright, zoom over there, that's fine. Don't really want to march, although it looks like I'm going to have to. Yeah, I shouldn't have marched. <laughs> that army's dead. Alright, next up is Kran. Kran is in range to kill this army. Thank God for that. Wipe him out. We're going to jump on in and fight this manually so we don't get ruined by the Order Resolve. This will be one of, I think, three armies of the Challenge Stone Pack we need to kill. After this one's dead, we'll head over to the sentiment that just got sacked and hopefully deal with the two armies there. But we could just have Cran and all my large units win this for us. Pretty sure it should be fine. I call the fast boys. Ready to go. Let's do it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep them together, but... Oh boy, we just deleted them. That was actually hilarious. Those units literally got deleted. Uh, these actually need to get involved as well, otherwise we're not going to have the buffs. That's actually pretty important. These do a lot of damage. Strength through sacrifice. 
a lot of damage to ogres. Why can't this guy do his summon? That's weird. Oh, it only recharges if he's en engaged in melee. Oh, that's been nerfed. Interesting. Uh, these chariots, I am getting, letting them get a little low. <laughs> I shouldn't really let them get low. I guess it's fine for him to stay in combat if they're going to die soon. What I'm going to do is we're going to get these to go into melee mode and run these down. Actually, he's in March stance, isn't he? Yeah, we just end it. Totally fine. And with that, one piece of the puzzle is dealt with. And then the next one will be the other large army of this rogue army. At least I'm friends with the new rogue army that popped up. That's good. At least that won't declare war on me for 10 turns. <laughs> Gonna de declare war on me eventually though. Just you wait. Just you wait. Right. Let's take the money. Okay. Good stuff. Where did that army come from? And where did this army come from? Alright, uh, currently doing Corn's Gate. I'm thinking that he's going to try and interrupt that. It's going to be annoying. Technically, I should be fine. I need to get rid of these armies. But I also need to deal with this army. So we'll move up to Uzkalak. We do have rank 9 on a lot of these. So soul cannons, skull cannons and blood shrines. This is Blood Crushers. That's for the Minotaurs, and that's for Corn's Chosen. I think the Corn's Chosen one's actually pretty useful because it does give these physical resistance, like more physical resistance. An extra 10%, that's pretty nice. Oh yeah, we'll give him Talisman of Preservation for sure. What does he have here? So he's got the slaughter man. I mean, that's not very useful. Is 
there any others that are more useful? I don't think so. Don't really have much of a choice. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's go over to Warfiend. Who is slowly leveling up. We can level up Crown again, actually. We'll go for the Revel and Slaughter. Totally fine. And we'll make this guy immortal. Great. That's all my main armies moved. Those secondary armies aren't going anywhere. So it's these armies. And I guess the only logical thing to do is to declare war on these boys. <laughs> I say logical. It's not logical at all. Do they own this unit? Is or is this someone else? So that's the Lazargs. And this is the Thunderguards, okay. The Lazargs like they own these two, is that it? I'm quite happy to wipe them out as well. Technically they want to come down here anyway, because we can start attacking these smallest elements of the uh Western provinces. So, yeah, let's do it. We'll just move this one in. Might as well march this one in. And then we just attack. Close victory. Ah, <sighs> fine. <laughs> Why? <laughs> we have three armies reinforcing and you have three units. <laughs> oh my. I guess it's just assumes because it's like a Solomon, maybe, that it has. Like the AI has a chance. I don't know. Like, or it's just like added the like settlement modifier basically to the order resolve. Right. In battle, look at the. <laughs> so dumb. Okay. We're probably just gonna shoot him. Just gonna have all of these run in. Oh, I need to do skulls for the skull throne. That would be a good thing to remember. Speed it up. It might also be why the order resolve wasn't really in our favor. Okay. Just chunk him enough for that to happen and job done. Oh, what a waste of time. <laughs> it has to be done though. It has to be done. Otherwise it just chunks my army for no reason. And I guess it did remind me that I need to do skulls for the skull throne again. So that's good. Hopefully I have enough skulls to do it. I think it is getting expensive now. I 
And without those summons, like the summon from beyond, like, Blood Letter ability, they are... Like, those battles get so much harder, because this the summons are really good. Well, that's 320 skulls, actually. That's nice. It only costs 1,400 right now. Easy peasy. Give me that. Great. Okay. And with that done, I think we have arranged to attack Mount Thug. What's the garrison looking like? Totally fine. So we're going to want this one to attack. And encircle. And then we're going to bring up this one. And this one. And I think this one for the Bloodthirster and the Blood Shrine. Yeah. We'll do that one. Okay. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. But next time around, uh, what we'll do is we'll attack Mount Thug and probably just destroy that for another army and then we'll take that extra army and we'll go and take out uh, Kyang here and move on to the Temple of Elemental Winds or we could go to the temp village of the Tigerman or Hanuport whatever we feel like killing or destroying yeah great Happy with that that's it hope you guys enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one goodbye yeah,